Welcome back to the Bud Light pregame show. Chris King here along with you is the Dust Devils beginning a three-game series with the Spokane Indians. And joining us is Seth Willoughby, kind of the newly crowned closer for the Dust Devils. Last night picking up the win, though coming in the final innings. And then three nights ago picking up that first save. Uh, fourth round draft pick for the Rockies this year. How's the adjustment been starting professional baseball? Well, I mean, the first time I came out, it was a little, I had a rough outing. Um, gave up a home run my first first guy face, but ever since then, I mean, I've just kind of fallen into a routine and feel like I can make my pitches and get these guys out. And what has been the biggest difference? Sounds like a bit of a rude awakening that you had up there in Vancouver, but uh, what's the first thing that jumped out to you from playing college baseball at Xavier and here in professional baseball? Um, you definitely can get away with missing your spots more in college. Um, and they don't see a lot of guys that are throwing in the mid-90s, so they, I mean, you can get away with leaving the ball up a little bit, but I mean, these guys are used to seeing more than mid-90s, and uh, I mean, they don't miss an opportunity to hit a, a bad pitch. And the all-time career saves leader at Xavier, when did you really start to take to that role as the yeah, stopper? Um, I came in mostly doing uh, just infield, and um, slowly worked my way into closing my freshman year about halfway through the season and I've just been been there ever since. Talking with Seth Willoughby here on the Bud Light pregame show and going back to your college days, uh, talking about a little bit beforehand, but you had a hand injury, broke uh, broke your hand and that kind of propelled you a little bit into focusing on pitching and obviously it's worked out pretty good. Yeah, I, I was able to fall into a, a better routine and really work on keeping my delivery the same every for every pitch and um, just the rest that I was able to get, not playing the field, running around all the time and in practice and working on mechanics and stuff like that and I just gained velocity from it and I, yeah, it definitely didn't hurt me. Put it that way. And that's certainly something that can't be understated is gaining that velocity. Yeah. How did that happen? I, I honestly don't really know. I think it has a lot to do with uh, just lifting more for pitching. I mean, I was, I mean, I, I've dropped like 20 pounds since I broke my hand, and um, I don't know, really just the rest that I was able to get. So I think those two things had a lot to do with it. And coming in this year, there was a closer for the Dust Devils. Will Rankin still tied for the league lead in saves, but got called up to Asheville, and that kind of allows you to slide back into the role that you did so well in Xavier. Is that what you envision yourself at at this point? Do you see yourself as the closer? Um, yeah, I definitely. I like the role of closer. Will Will's a great guy. He, I mean, he had a great job here, and he deserved to be in Asheville. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go out there and try to do what I can and help, help the team win. And it takes a bit of a different mentality to be the closer. What's your thought process when it comes to the seventh inning, the eighth inning when it's close and you know you might be getting the nod? Yeah, I'm definitely, I get a little antsy. The guys kind of make fun of me down there because I'm always pacing around. Because I, I mean, I really just want to go in and like do what I can to help the team win. But uh, yeah, I just kind of stick to my routine and if my number gets called, then I'll go in and get going there and do what I can. Well, thanks for the time, Seth, and continued good luck this year. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. That's Seth Willoughby here on the Bud Light pregame show. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the scoreboard of the Northwest League and also bring you the starting lineups and first pitch as the Dust Devils open a three-game series with the Spokane Indians.